This August will mark the 80th anniversary of the USS Bankfish. That's the World War II submarine you can see from the Muskogee Turnpike as you head into town. As News Channel 8's Burt Mumolo reports, another submersible has recently brought renewed attention to the Bankfish. Over the past several weeks, the word submersible has been linked to doom. Our first thoughts are with the, uh, the crew members and the families of uh, those on board. The destruction of the Titan made headlines around the world and put anyone with a link to submarines in demand. We have gotten several calls about that. James Erb of the Muskogee War Memorial Park Museum, home of the USS Batfish, Oklahoma's link to the deep. It also increased our visibility because it's brought submarines to the surface again, and then people all of a sudden, oh yeah, we have a submarine in Oklahoma, let's go see it. The Batfish was last in the news four years ago when a 500-year flood caused the three million ton sub to float for the first time in 50 years. The sub used to be where? The sub used to be in this channel right down here. It actually brought the boat straight up and without the batteries and everything else we had inside to hold it down, it snapped three of the four cables and pulled the fourth stanchion out of the ground and started to take off downriver. That was the last time tourists were allowed on board since FEMA closed the sub due to safety concerns. The museum is still open with plenty of artifacts and history to take in, but you just can't get in the sub anymore, at least not until it's securely repositioned. The city would like to see it moved and the board would like to see it moved because that way it right now is in a, in a floodplain. James has been a lifelong sub enthusiast. His thoughts on the Titan? I think it was a mistake. Uh, the carbon fiber material is not designed to withstand 14,000 pounds per square inch pressure. I think that if they had had some real uh, military style submariners in the design process, they just flat out said, no, don't do this. He thinks the disaster will lead to more regulations for the civilian submarine market. As for the market for the USS Batfish, that will most certainly resurface once it's fixed up again. We used to be one of the number one tourist attractions in the state of Oklahoma. In Muskogee, Burt Mumolo, News Channel 8. Moving this up is estimated to cost in the millions of dollars. James says the Batfish Museum currently sees about 100 visitors a weekend, but when people could get onto the sub, it was as many as 1,000 a weekend.